All right, what's up, YouTube? Meredith is back here, bringing you guys a video on this SLK R170 generation. This is the first generation of the SLK, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to manually put the top down. Unfortunately, my car is a 1998, and the hydraulic system is not working. Um, note, I I don't know if I would touch it if you're top systems working through the button uh, my button is not working and there's a leak so uh, this is how I manually put the top down I know there's a lot of other owners out there that might have the same issue um, you want to put the top down you know enjoy the breeze so I'll show you how in this video so you're gonna need this tool right here um, I don't know the exact measurement I will look it up and I'll post it on this video so you can see but you're gonna need this tool and we're gonna start in the back so gonna open the trunk and you're gonna have this thing right here excuse the mess um, that's this is I'm gonna do a step by step first of all you're gonna have to take out the trim right here and right here this is super important because you're gonna need these cables this unlocks the trunk and you're also going to need this tool right here and you're going to go right here and you're going to like twist it you're going to loosen it just a little bit so it relieves pressure and i believe it's to the right that i might be wrong it's to the left so you're going to go like up counter counterclockwise to relieve the uh, hydraulic pressure because if you don't it's going to spray fluid everywhere so just make sure it's just a loose a little bit. Um, and the next step also, um, if you're having issues with the relay, like you're not getting any power, you might need to order one of these. This was like literally like two bucks. Um, this is not OEM, but it works. My friend gave it to me, shout out R32 Nick. Um, and it's working for me perfectly. So this is what's gonna control the button to get all the windows down. And um, the next step, after you take the trim off and you take this, you loosen this um, bolt right here, the gold one. I don't know if it's going to be a different color on your car. You're going to unhook these latches and you're also going to put this right there. So, um, actually, disregard the latches, but this is a really important step. You're going to come back in the car and my windows are up. Um, look at that, 82,000 miles on the drivetrain. You're going to see this button flashing. You're going to push it up. Oh, actually, it's because my trunk is... Alright, there we go. As you can see, you're, you're gonna want these side windows down. That's a uh, very important step. And then the next, you're gonna take this, and there's gonna be a hex bolt right here. And you're gonna do it clockwise, that unlocks it. Make sure you go like all the way, don't don't go too hard. But you'll know when it's unlocked, you'll hear like a, unlo like a unlocking latch. And then the next step, we're gonna go back to the trunk. And this is when you pull the cable, so it's not going to unlock the windows unless you have this on a, it's a switch right here, so you got to have this open. You're then next going to pull both cables just gently. You don't, you don't do it hard at all, just a little pull, and then you're going to bring the roof back. So it holds itself, it's a really good, you know, sturdy mechanism. I've done this like a hundred times. And then the next okay so guys once you get the roof back up like this and this is unlocked right here you're gonna turn you're gonna take the key out the ignition and now you can manually put it down so my tabs are broken 
So I have to be careful right here. I just got to make sure it doesn't hit this. And you're just gonna hold, make sure you hold this up so you don't scratch the hood. And it's just going to go into place like that, like magic. Now you're going to come back. Push it down. It's going to lock into place. And then I got to put this flap down right here. Make sure both the flaps are down. And that is how you put down the top on the SLK. Now I'm going to show you how to put it back up. So easy process. When you're done using the top, you're going to unlock this. And you're going to unlock these tabs right here. Just pull gently. And you're going to bring it back up. And make sure the car is off at, for this part. Um, and then the next piece, you're going to hold this up. Pull this up. And then you're going to lift the lid like this. It's a little heavy. And then you're going to just gently guide it in. And it's going to unlock. It's going to go right back in just like that, like butter. Now for to lock, this is really important when it rains or something. Um, using that same tool that we had, this tool, you're going to come back in and you're gonna go counterclockwise and you're gonna hear a locking. You're gonna hear it like lock and, and seal. And then the next step, close the door, put the key in the ignition into this part and you're gonna do this and you're gonna hear it, you're gonna, the windows are gonna go back up on both sides and then put the windows up and now it's sealed. So this one seals pretty good this side. Um, just a little tip. I don't know if your car has this issue, but mine does. Um, you're just gonna put your hand right here, apply a little bit of pressure and you're just gonna close it in like that and you can see a nice perfect seal so no water gets in. And um, yeah, that's, that's how you manually operate the roof. I hope this helps. Not a lot of videos. There is a guy uh, it was in another language. Shout out to him. Um, he showed me. He did a really good video on how to do it. But the language barrier was horrible if you're an English speaker. So I hope this helps a lot for my English followers out there. People that speak English. But anyways, I love this car. Um, I wouldn't do this if your top is working automatically. I would just keep using it until, you know, like maybe the hydraulic system stops. But... That is that. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Check out my other car content. But yeah, guys, love you guys. Look at the sunset. Uh, I'm going to do a GoPro POV video. Anyways, once again, thank you for watching. Break us out. Peace.